Надо ладно его Стань Gents, ladies, we've uh, arrived here at Vital last night or yesterday afternoon. This is the first morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. The water so far as I felt it is ice, ice cold. Current is screaming from south to north now. Um, yesterday it was north to south, now it's south to north. Uh, a lovely little hole over there. I'm going to throw a small bait and see if there's not something in the water. I'm just going to test my theory out about the water temperature. Otherwise, I'm going to be fishing for very small fish after this. I'm using again, of course, my Saltist 5000 with a new Poseidon uh, edible rod. It's 15 foot in length. And yeah, I'm just going to use a grapple sinker because the sea is washing. I've got langoustine and chocker on with a 304 soy hook. Using uh, 21 kilo maxima, 18 kilo to my hook snoot, uh, my sinker snoot. So if I do get stuck, I'll break that off. I'm using 20 pound gator braid. Let's see what happens. As I thought, current is screaming from south to north. We had a hell of a thunderstorm last night and I'm, I'm sure that's also what's put some of these fish off. But the current is screaming this way. I've walked literally 30, 40 meters already. I haven't even been in the water for two minutes. I'm definitely going to have to go over to a smaller rod. If you have a look over here, over there, there's a lovely big hole. I'm going to stand on the ledge here and just click behind us and see what happens. I like the whole thing, catching wave garrick and stuff like that. As well as um, some of our other little rockfish. If you look in the hole, there's no, there's no fish. There's absolutely no fish in any of these holes, cracks or anything like that. And the water is cold. It is flippin' cold. Okay, we're going to the backup plan, which is basically catching the smallest fish around. The sea is not nice, the rain's coming as well. So, I'm gonna see if I can't catch a stone bream or some sort of a rockfish to break my blob. Hey, get a bit of confidence up because I tell you what. I don't have too much confidence at the moment with what I'm doing and what I'm catching. Well, I'm not catching anything with what I'm doing, so... Oh, catch one little fish, I'll be a happy man. Because I have fished a good couple of hours and no bite so far. So, get my confidence level up a bit, yeah. Because I don't believe there's any fish in this ocean. I'm just going to take out the little trace here for which I think might work. It's normally my little stone beam traces that I'm using. Uh, it's 4 kilo Maxima Ultra Green or 4.5 kilo. A very small power swivel that I've attached to it. A little hook. A little one ounce spare sinker and I'm gonna get some langos. A bit of cotton, being broad. And all I'm doing is taking our this is a fly hook that we use in fly fishing. And for some reason I can't remember what the code is for it, but I know it's an ST mustard hook. Um, ST I think stands for stone fly. I'm not too sure. 
but it's one of the hooks that we sell there at Kingfisher it's very sharp and I tell you what when it comes to catching stone bream it's an absolute brilliant brilliant hook to use okay, so that's all that it is Take that loose there. what I'm using is my little crossfire eight foot two piece I'm using the BG uh, 3000 with 10 pound gator braid and that's a little outfit that I use for catching these fish so let's see if I can get one there we go I had a bite literally on my first throw so much more excited about the prospect of actually catching a fish let's put a piece of board on again Lightning kept me awake for a long time last night. And the Wesley's starting to blow harder too now as well, which hopefully makes the water a bit warmer. What I'm looking for is little protected little bays in that that I'm throwing into. Where the fish might sit and hide away from the current that's so strong. There we go, there we go. Come on. <laughs> I was sleeping! There it is, come on, come on. Come fishing, there it is. <laughs> one little damsel. See what we got is one of these banded um, damsels that you get over here. A very aggressive feeder. It's taking my hook quite far down, so all I'm going to do is I just snip it off, and we're going to let him go as quickly as we can. A very aggressive little feeder there. Let's go try catch some more fish. another spot that I know quite well and I'm actually just getting a boat right now Damn it. Oh, there's definitely little fish here there we go got him <laughs> I told you confidence level as soon as you get one oh, come on as soon as you get one fish the other fish start coming there it is there we go I don't know what fish it is, could be a crayfish. No, 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 here it comes. Baby fish, whatever it is. Okay. Well, I've far looked at baby blacktail. What we've got here is a lovely little black tail. We're gonna catch him and put him back. Gave me a nice little tussle. Put him back in the water here. There comes the thunder and lightning. You can hear it. when you do something stupid like that that was a good bite I don't think I've got any bait left let me go put some more bait on rather
get my raincoat. The fish are starting to feed quite nicely, yeah? And I've had one or two decent bites and I missed both of them. But uh, we'll see if we can catch him now. But there's the thunder, there's the rain. Big cloud bank coming towards us. And the rain's starting to fall. I can tell you now, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be minutes before that rain hits us. There he is, there he is, there he is, come on, eat. Eat. Come on. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, I got him! <laughs> this is quite a nice little fish, this one. A little black tail again. Definitely a black tail. Stony! One of my target species, a little stone bream. Lovely little fish. Catch a lot of them here. I'm just gonna take the hook out quickly. This is one of many little species that the species that we actually get here. Um, great fun on light tackle. Bring your kids down and you can have an absolute ball catching these stone bream. There we go, put him back. This is a baby one. They get a lot bigger than this. I'm changing over to a double hook trace now. It's the same trace that I did before. The only difference is I've got two hooks on it. The downfall of a double hook trace fishing in very shallow water like we're doing now for the stonies is that the second hook could get caught up. So you've got one hook on the top, one hook down here and your little sinker. Ah. Just throwing in again. There he is, there he is. Oh, oh, got him! <laughs> Feels more like a stone rim. Let's see what pops up here. Wait! One lovely stone bream again. Another lovely little stone bream. And this is absolute fun on this light tackle. Basically we are we on the ledges now. I'm going to take a, a knife to a gunfight and let's see what happens, see if I get beaten badly. <laughs> yeah, and I got beaten. Badly. Okay, try again. The dip sticking method that I'm going to be using here, we use quite thick nylon and this will be maxima, 27 kilo, I don't go much lighter than that. And we're literally going to walk around dropping the sinker into each hole that we can find, each crack, each hole and see what we can catch. We do go very heavy on the tackle because there's a lot of oysters and that that we get cut off on. And the fish generally don't take too much string except into the into their holes, into their cracks. I'm using a very light sinker snoot so if my sinker does get hooked up, we can cut it off. And this whole trace is quite a short trace, not a very long trace at all. I'm using 18 kilo here. I'm going to make it about 30 centimeters in length. Using a weed eater sinker, which I'm going to cut down a bit. 
Well, I might just leave it like that. Uh, we'll see. I'm using the the Tuna Circle 5.0. Again, going to be using 27 kilo nylon to it and not long at all. Just snelling the hook quickly. Because of all the rain we've had, our fingers are actually going white. I'm just going to use a little additive, uh, added attractor here. Yeah? Something very bright, one of these little beads that we always use. Stick one of them on just, just for a bit more color in the water, a little bit of flotation, a bit more movement. generally helps cut off all the tag ends gonna use a bit of chocker bait we find some chocker here and we just cut thin strips out of it it works very well for the rock on and all we're doing is we're just putting the chocker on like that nothing fancy leaving a couple of tentacles sticking open that's literally all we do there's a whole trace. It's going to take some extra legs so I don't have to keep on walking backwards and forwards and I'm just going to go into all the holes that I can find and just drop it. I caught this lovely little stonefish. Very hardy little fish. He hangs around the rocks a lot. And there he goes. That's my first fish on dipsticking. Second throw. So I'm going to go back and carry on trying. Could be a crayfish bite there. Eh? 